morning. Today is Saturday, March 14th, 2020, week 67. Yes, it is. She got it right. In one shot. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of rushed this morning. Stacy's got to get into work early. I have to go to the pandemonium that's called Costco. Oh, it's been crazy. <laughs> to say the least. So I am early, early shift this morning. So I'm hoping to get a little bit of a video of what the line has been. Our lines opening within the first 20 minutes have been anywhere from six to 850 people within the first 15, 20 minutes. And guess what? Store opening. They don't have toilet paper. <laughs> I'm hoping when I get there today, we have toilet paper. <laughs> For the first 50 people, huh? We are now limiting it to one package per membership. Per membership? Per so membership. you can't like, put each kid in line and get Correct. seven, right? Per membership. Okay. Trying to give everybody an equal opportunity to have toilet paper. And of course it's going to make it even worse because as everybody knows, here in Michigan, um, the kids officially are off of school for three weeks. Not sure if that will be extended, but that's where we're at at the moment. So, of course, now we're going to go through more toilet paper at home. Um, yeah. Well, this week, I started a fast on Tuesday like I have for the last two weeks, which have been successful for me with really not much problem at all. However, I was feeling really bad, and I thought maybe my salts were down. Maybe I just, just maybe I needed to eat something because I was feeling really weak. And then uh, I ate a scrambled egg, and that didn't work. And then I was still feeling yucky, and I was drinking, um, I even had some pickle juice, and then I had my electrolyte, uh, I have drops of electrolytes. Tried that, and I was down in water, and I just felt horrible. So I stopped my past, obviously, because I ate the egg, and uh, it ended up, as the night went on, I was losing my voice and just feeling horrible. I mean, hot, cold, hot, cold. So I ended up a little, little bit of a cold or something here. <clears throat> don't think it's coronavirus <laughs> but uh no I just I just this was not my very favorite week um I ended up with weight wise I was 322.4 last week and this week I had planned on fasting and dropping even more I was uh 322.8 so I was up 0.4 this week um just I didn't even eat much my carb manager looks great I just haven't really gone to the bathroom much <laughs> So, you know, you got to do that too, to make the numbers balance out. But uh, other than that, I just, uh, I've got an infection thing going on that I've got antibiotics for that I'm taking, because that wouldn't help the cold anyway. But uh, I'm trying to fight an infection and some higher sugars. My sugars have jumped up into the 200s and the 250 range. Um, and I think that's from the infection that I can see and feel and now I'm taking antibiotics to combat that because I do not want to go back to the hospital. No, 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 especially not right now with all the flus and the coronas and all the because we have that out here by us now. Yeah, our daughter works at the U of M hospital in the lab. We are one of the affected uh, patients are at. So good thing though is she's used to working with viruses in the lab, so she's very cautious with all of that. We just can't guarantee what everybody else is. So right. um, we'll see. So for me, I started, uh, last week I weighed in at 134.2. This morning I weighed in 135.8. Da na na na. What? Is it charcoal? <laughs> okay. So, but it's okay, you know, I'm still hovering. I am still, haven't gone past uh, that 136 point, you know, at, at this time. So, I don't know, we'll see. It, it'll, it'll, it goes up a little bit, down a little bit. Um, yeah, this is not my favorite week. I, I can't wait to just be not sick, not have this infection going on, and get back to my fasting. I figure it's probably not the smartest thing to do while I'm not feeling well. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I want to get these antibiotics in me and get this infection out of me. Absolutely. So, but other than that, doing okay. And uh, Stacy's just busy, busy, busy at Costco. Her <laughs> arm is moving more. She my just arm has is moving. You just have a restriction on weight, right? Two yes, pounds. I can't lift, carry, push, or pull more than two pounds. I've had two sessions for physical therapy. Uh, range of motion is getting better. I am having a lot of muscle spasms. That's normal. That's pretty uncomfortable. I'll be sitting there all of a sudden, you know, and of course go like this because it's on my left side. And I'm no, like, are you okay? You have a heart? I'm like, no. It has nothing to do with any of this. I have a hurt shoulder. I'm good. <laughs> 
Yeah, you keep, you know, using it and getting things to fire in there and it'll rebuild itself and you'll be doing good soon. Absolutely. So life is good. I can't complain. Um, we have to play, Bill, well, Bill will be playing teacher with Julia. Yeah, um, we've got some packets, home. packets of things to work on and then they want her reading 30 minutes a day and things like that. Yeah, so. we'd love to have our oldest one home with us as well. However, um, she does the work study, so she's still required to run her lab. And she actually runs the lab, so she can't quite come home yet. If they stop doing that, then she will come home. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah, and if, if um, and U of M is doing online, even their, um, their little area where they eat and everything, is, they've sectioned it out to only two people per table, and everybody is separated by a good distance. Uh, she said it's really weird here. So, mm -hmm. but that's a good precaution. <clears throat> Keep everybody separated. Absolutely. Well, guys, I hope if you're doing keto, you stick with it, because you're going to have weeks like our week here this week, which was bad. But we're going to get there. And uh, it's persistence and patience that you have to do. You trust the process, keep going, because you're going to have ups and downs. But if you blow it and then you go like eat junk or do whatever, yeah, you're going to say keto didn't work. But it does work long term. If you look at the overall across yeah. the board, it's doing great things for us. So we just have to be patient and keep moving. And that's what we do every day. That's right. So have a great weekend, and I hope everybody's doing wonderful. Bye. Bye.